The universal laws of life encompass a set of fundamental principles that guide the functioning and existence of life in the universe. While the concept of such laws may vary depending on philosophical and spiritual perspectives, there are certain principles that are commonly considered essential to the understanding of life. In this exploration, we will delve into these laws and their implications, aiming to provide an overview of their significance in our understanding of life and existence as a whole. Law of Unity The Law of Unity posits that everything in the universe is interconnected and interdependent. It suggests that all forms of life, from the tiniest organisms to the vast cosmic entities, are part of a grand tapestry of existence. This law reflects the notion that we are all interconnected, and the actions or choices made by one entity can have repercussions throughout the entire system. Law of Balance The law of balance asserts that equilibrium is an inherent aspect of life. It suggests that nature seeks harmony and balance in its various manifestations. This law is observed in ecological systems, where the delicate balance of predator and prey, symbiotic relationships, and the cycling of nutrients ensures the stability and sustainability of ecosystems. The law of balance encourages us to seek equilibrium in our own lives, recognizing the importance of maintaining harmony between various aspects such as work, relationships, and personal well-being. Law of Growth and Evolution The law of growth and evolution states that life is in a constant state of change and development. It acknowledges that all living entities have the innate drive to grow, adapt, and evolve. From the evolution of species over millions of years to the personal development and self-improvement of individuals, this law highlights the inherent potential for growth and expansion in all forms of life. Law of Cause and Effect The law of cause and effect, also known as the law of karma, asserts that every action has a corresponding consequence. It suggests that our thoughts, choices, and actions create ripples in the fabric of reality, shaping our individual experiences and influencing the world around us. This law emphasizes the importance of mindful actions, as we are accountable for the effects we generate. Law of Resonance The law of resonance postulates that like attracts like. It suggests that we attract people, circumstances, and experiences that align with our dominant thoughts, emotions, and energy patterns. This law emphasizes the power of our thoughts and intentions in shaping our reality, encouraging us to cultivate positive and harmonious vibrations to attract desirable outcomes. Law of Adaptation The law of adaptation highlights the necessity of flexibility and adaptation in life. It recognizes that change is an inherent aspect of existence, and our ability to adapt to new circumstances and challenges is vital for survival and growth. This law encourages us to embrace change, let go of resistance, and cultivate resilience in the face of adversity. Law of Consciousness The law of consciousness emphasizes the role of awareness and consciousness in shaping our reality. It suggests that our thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions influence our experiences and the outcomes we attract. This law underscores the power of self-awareness and encourages us to cultivate mindfulness, expanding our consciousness to align with our deepest aspirations. Law of Love and Compassion The law of love and compassion recognizes that love is the underlying fabric of the universe and that compassion is an essential expression of our interconnectedness. It emphasizes the transformative power of love in healing, fostering harmonious relationships, and nurturing the well-being of all beings. This law encourages us to cultivate love and compassion, extending it not only to others but also to ourselves and the world around us. Law of Impermanence The law of impermanence acknowledges that change is constant and that all things in the physical realm are transient. It reminds us that attachment to material possessions, circumstances, or even our own identities can lead to suffering. This law invites us to embrace the ever-changing nature of life, find solace in the present moment, and cultivate a sense of detachment while appreciating the beauty and impermanence of existence. Law of Purpose The law of purpose asserts that each individual has a unique and meaningful role to play in the tapestry of life. It suggests that discovering and aligning with one's purpose brings fulfillment, joy, and a sense of contribution to the greater whole. This law encourages us to explore our passions, talents, and values, seeking to express our authentic selves and contribute positively to the world. These are some of the universal laws of life that offer a framework for understanding the nature of existence and our place within it. 
While they may not encompass the entirety of life's complexities, they provide guiding principles to navigate our journey with wisdom, compassion, and a deeper sense of purpose. Embracing these laws can empower us to live more consciously, harmoniously, and in alignment with the interconnected web of life that surrounds us. The laws of life generally refer to guiding principles or moral values that are considered essential for leading a virtuous and fulfilling life. These laws can vary depending on cultural, religious, and philosophical perspectives. While there is no universally accepted set of laws of life, here are some commonly recognized principles that many people consider important. Integrity. Acting honestly and ethically, adhering to moral principles, and being trustworthy in all aspects of life. Respect. Treating others with dignity, empathy, and consideration, regardless of their differences or social standing. Responsibility. Taking ownership of one's actions, being accountable for one's choices, and fulfilling obligations towards oneself and others. Kindness. Showing compassion, empathy, and goodwill towards others, promoting positive interactions and fostering a caring society. Honesty. Being truthful, sincere, and transparent in all communication and interactions, avoiding deception or misleading others. Forgiveness. Letting go of resentment and grudges, showing understanding and compassion towards those who have wronged you, and seeking reconciliation. Perseverance. Demonstrating determination, resilience, and persistence in the face of challenges and setbacks, striving for personal growth and success. Gratitude. Recognizing and appreciating the blessings, experiences, and relationships in one's life, fostering a positive outlook and contentment. Equality. Valuing and promoting fairness, justice, and equal opportunities for all individuals, irrespective of their background or characteristics. Empathy. Seeking to understand and share the feelings and perspectives of others, cultivating a sense of connection and promoting harmony in relationships. Self-discipline. Exercising self-control, managing impulses, and adhering to a sense of order and structure in one's life. Humility. Recognizing one's limitations, acknowledging the contributions of others, and maintaining an attitude of modesty and openness to learning. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the heart of a lush green valley, lived a young boy named Ethan. Ethan was known for his curious nature and kind heart. He possessed a deep respect for the principles and moral values instilled in him by his wise grandmother, Maya. One sunny morning, as Ethan ventured into the forest, he stumbled upon a wounded bird with a broken wing. Without hesitation, he gently scooped up the bird and cradled it in his hands. Overwhelmed with compassion, Ethan decided to take the bird home and care for it until it healed. Days turned into weeks, and during that time, Ethan diligently tended to the bird, providing it with nourishment, shelter, and love. Slowly but surely, the bird's wing healed, and it regained its strength. It was a joyous moment for both Ethan and the bird when it finally took flight, soaring into the sky with grace and freedom. News of Ethan's selfless act spread throughout the village, capturing the attention of a wise old man named Samuel. Intrigued by the young boy's compassion, Samuel sought out Ethan and invited him for a conversation. Sitting under the shade of an ancient oak tree, Samuel shared tales of his own adventures and the valuable lessons he had learned along the way. He spoke of the importance of honesty, integrity, and respect for oneself and others. Samuel emphasized the power of kindness and empathy, explaining how they could transform lives and bring about positive change. We also have laws of the universe. The term laws of the universe refers to fundamental principles or rules that govern the behavior and operation of the physical universe. These laws are based on empirical observations, mathematical formulations, and scientific theories. While our understanding of these laws is constantly evolving as scientific knowledge progresses, here are some key laws and principles that are widely accepted. Newton's laws of motion. These laws describe the relationship between an object and the forces acting upon it. They include a. The law of inertia. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force. b. The relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration c. The principle of action and reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Law of universal gravitation. 
proposed by Isaac Newton. This law states that every particle of matter attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Laws of thermodynamics. These laws describe the behavior of energy and heat transfer. They include a. The first law of thermodynamics, law of energy conservation. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred or converted from one form to another. b. The second law of thermodynamics, the entropy, disorder, of a closed system tends to increase over time. It also establishes the concept of heat flowing spontaneously from hot to cold objects. Electromagnetic laws. a. Maxwell's equations. These equations describe the behavior of electric and magnetic fields and their relationship to each other and the sources that generate them. b. Coulomb's law. This law describes the force between two charged particles, which is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with phenomena at the atomic and subatomic levels. It has its own set of laws and principles, including the wave-particle duality, uncertainty principle, and quantization of energy. Theory of general relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein. This theory describes the gravitational force in terms of the curvature of spacetime caused by mass and energy. It explains the behavior of gravity on a cosmic scale and provides a framework for understanding the structure and evolution of the universe. It's important to note that our understanding of the laws of the universe is constantly evolving, and new discoveries and theories may lead to modifications or extensions of these existing laws in the future. While the previous response focused on the Ten Commandments from the Abrahamic traditions, it's important to note that other religions have their own sets of commandments or ethical guidelines. Here are a few examples. 1. Hinduism. Ahimsa. The principle of non-violence and non-injury towards all living beings. Satya, the principle of truthfulness and honesty. Asteya, the principle of non-stealing and non-coveting. Brahmacharya, the principle of self-control, including celibacy or moderation in sensual pleasures. Aparigraha, the principle of non-possessiveness and non-greed. 2. Buddhism. The Five Precepts. These are guidelines for ethical conduct that include refraining from killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, false speech, and the use of intoxicants. The Noble Eightfold Path. This path includes principles such as right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. 3. Jainism. Ahimsa, the principle of non-violence towards all living beings. Satya, the principle of truthfulness. Asteya, the principle of non-stealing. Brahmacharya, the principle of chastity, celibacy, or moderation in sensual pleasures. Aparigraha, the principle of non-possessiveness and non-attachment. 4. Sikhism. Nam Japna, the practice of meditating on and reciting the name of God. Karat Karni, the principle of honest and diligent labor. Van Chakna the principle of sharing with others and practicing selfless service. Nam Simran, the practice of remembering and meditating on God's name. Hukam, the acceptance of God's will and living in accordance with it. Love is a universal concept that is valued and celebrated in various religions around the world. While interpretations and expressions of love may differ across different religious traditions, here are some examples of the concept of love in a few major religions. Love. In Christianity agape, in Christianity, agape refers to selfless, unconditional love. It is considered the highest form of love and is often associated with God's love for humanity and the commandment to love one's neighbor as oneself. Islam. Ishq ishq is an Arabic term used in Sufi poetry to describe a deep, passionate love for God and the divine. It involves a yearning and longing for union with the divine beloved. Hinduism bhakti. Bhakti is the devotional love and surrender to a chosen deity or deities in Hinduism. It involves a deep emotional connection, reverence, and devotion to God. Buddhism. Metta. Metta, or loving kindness, is a central concept in Buddhism. It involves cultivating a boundless and unconditional love and compassion for all beings.
wishing them well-being and happiness. Sikhism. Prem. Prem is the term used in Sikhism to denote divine love. It is a selfless, unconditional love for God and all of God's creation, emphasizing compassion, equality, and service to others. Judaism. Ahava. Ahava is the Hebrew word for love in Judaism. It encompasses different types of love, including the love between humans, love for God, and God's love for his people. These examples highlight that different religions have their own unique sets of commandments, principles, or guidelines that followers are encouraged to follow to lead a virtuous and ethical life. These principles often emphasize compassion, truthfulness, self-control, and the pursuit of spiritual growth. Kindness in other religion. Kindness is a universal value that is emphasized in many different religions. Here are some examples of the concept of kindness in various religious traditions. Christianity. The Golden Rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This principle encourages Christians to treat others with kindness, compassion, and love. Islam. Isan. Isan is the concept of excellence or perfection in Islam. It involves showing kindness, benevolence, and doing good to others, as exemplified by the teachings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad. Hinduism. Ahimsa. Ahimsa, often translated as non-violence, is a core principle in Hinduism. It extends to kindness towards all living beings and advocates for compassionate actions and thoughts. Buddhism. Karuna. Karuna is the Pali word for compassion, which is a fundamental principle in Buddhism. It involves having kindness and empathy towards all beings and striving to alleviate their suffering. Sikhism. Daya. Daya, meaning compassion or kindness, is highly valued in Sikhism. Sikhs are encouraged to show kindness, mercy, and generosity to all beings, irrespective of their backgrounds. Judaism. Gemilat Chasidim. Gemilat Chasidim, meaning acts of loving kindness, is an important principle in Judaism. It involves performing acts of kindness and helping others in need. Jainism. 